So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Colouring Arts and Crafts. So I've got my final, I think this is my final book unboxing, book box unboxing for the month of September. Obviously from now on I'll be cutting it back a bit, so um, probably only be about two I think it depends on if I've forgotten something or not but yeah anyway this is um, the September fairy loot basically also um, with the cutting back um, I'm thinking around November December I'm going to cut back to just one box only just because of the cost and needing to save for things and stuff so you'll probably only see um, one book box either December or January there'll be one I'm thinking of definitely cutting back though after November so yeah that's what I'm um, looking at doing right now just because well yeah it's what I need to do <laughs> anyway so I've got um, our fairy loot September which is be crazy book box here this only just arrived today I basically opened it to check things dusted things off and <laughs> looked at that I've also got a couple of other items here that arrived the last couple of days but I was waiting for this box to arrive that are also fairy loot items that I just um, wanted to show um, at the same time as I did this book box unboxing so the first thing I've got here before I open the box is um, the two Harry Potter cards that I tarot cards that I was missing obviously I don't own all the tarot cards set by any means but I just wanted to complete the Harry Potter tarot card set because I like Harry Potter basically and so we've got the magician and death and I think death is Lucius um, not Lucius Malfoy 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 just Malfoy and the magician is Dumbledore with Forks the Phoenix and obviously very very happy to have those um, uh, next thing that I've got is uh, and I'll just zoom out a little more to show you this one so the next thing I've got is obviously um, a little oh well, I'm not sure what it's called but it's basically like a book box volume one it's like a cardboard book box with the way it's designed um, from what I know on their fairy trove um, this is now out of stock last time I checked but I think it's like a magnetic seal with how it shuts and inside you've got all these little book quotes and drawings and um, things like that for storing storing things that you um, want to keep somewhere that's special and it just sits on your bookshelf just notice I oh know I think it's sealed properly I oh know there's some spots that need re-gluing so there's some spots that are actually coming off that need re-gluing but I will um, work on fixing that up off camera so I'm really happy to have this um, I'm glad I didn't miss out on getting this um, this is volume one from what I know I think there's meant to be four total in these volumes so obviously very happy to have that as well and then the last thing that I've got here that I've received recently is the fairy loot version of Brandon Sanderson's Skyward um, the thing that's special about this one from what I know is just that it comes with yellow sprayed edges so you can't actually see just how yellow they are but they're quite yellow um, does have a mark on there I'm not sure what it is I'm hoping it's just glue and not food but, uh, it's a little hard to show you with the book box here in the way so and it's just plain blue obviously with that and this is I'm not sure which series is Skyward Claim the Stars I think it's Claim the Stars series or something like that I'm not sure Reckoner's series I 
think is it the Reckoners series? I'm not sure, but I really wanted this one. Um, it doesn't come signed. Um, but from what I can see, it is a first edition, so I'm not totally sure. I think it's a first edition because it's got from one to ten. But it says it was first printed in 2018, so I think it is a first edition. But I'm very happy to have that one as well. And then, finally, uh, turn this up the right way. We can get on to our book unboxing for the September Witches Be Crazy book box for Fairy Loot. And yeah, as I said, I will definitely be cutting down a lot on these um, come November. Just because, well, yeah, I want to and I want to start saving some money towards surgery and stuff like that when it happens. So, yeah. And I just noticed my little um, fairy loot, which is be crazy, spoiler cards come dinted. Mm. Guess there's not really much I can do about it, but always kind of disappointing when they come a little dinted. But this is our spoiler card. So, and as you can see, it says Witches Be Crazy for the theme. So I did open this just to check all was there, and I did find that our, as you can see here, Cauldron Bath Bomb. I did find that that had um, sent powder everywhere. So I tried to tip what I could in this box back in and it was kind of all over the other items as well. I did cut this open before I um, did this, partly to check all was there because it had taken so long, but partly also because I knew with my hand and wrist as it is at the moment would make it a bit tricky. And I'm gonna have to pause for a minute because the battery is about dead, so I will be back shortly. So hey everyone, I'm back. I've changed the camera battery now. So anyway, um, I'm really happy to have this box. I've been hanging out for it and waiting for it and it seems mine went out in the very last shipment so it was like, yeah, it's punishing me or something because I was really dying for this box and I didn't get it. So I'm not going to tilt this up because I don't know if you can see it, but there's still some little bits of bath bomb in the bottom of that and you can probably see it kind of all over the cauldron but this is our cute little um, bath bomb and I'm gonna put that straight back in the box and I don't know what flavor it is it smells good but I probably won't be able to use it till I go away somewhere where there's actually a bathtub <laughs> like I usually do I usually store all my bath bombs and that sort of product till I can get access to a bathtub somewhere. So I'm just checking, yeah, there's multiple dints in this one. It's obviously gotten a bit beaten up as it's been traveling around because as you know, the fairy loot cards typically come on top of things. So probably as things are moved around, it's bent things, unfortunately, but not much I can do about that. So, It doesn't actually say the flavour of the bath bomb. I was just curious to know what the flavour might be. Ah, melon scented. So it, I'm not going to tip it up to show you, but just on the back here it's got melon scented bath bomb mentioned there. <laughs> so I don't want to tip that up. Next thing we've got here, and I don't know if it will focus up close. Oh, it's actually going to focus for a change. Oh, so I don't have to take it out of the plastic wrap. But we got a enamel pin here by That's Lovely Deer Shop. And it says, Not Your Basic Witch. And from what I've heard, it's based in the shape of Starbucks coffee cup. Uh, we don't really have Starbucks at all where I live so I wouldn't really know but it's cool anyway. I like how it's got the witch on the <laughs> logo and the cauldron and the bat and stars. 
Um, I'll just take it out and see if you can see it better without the reflections. Just to see, it's not going to hurt. <sighs> My stupid wrist will let me function. So let's see. Yeah, uh, it's quite reflective. But yeah, that's our enamel pin that we got with this box. Next, and I didn't open these up because I thought I'd be better waiting for on camera. I'm hoping my hand will allow me to open them. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I've been struggling with opening things like that lately. <sighs> There we go, it actually is going to let me, oh maybe it's not going to be so easy. <laughs> Try my best, at least I did get it and it didn't take too long, but yeah, it kind of hurt. So this is a fairy loot deck of witch playing cards, let's see, can I get it open? Looks like the box has gotten a little bit dented. Oh, there's a silver sort of foil on the edge of them. Hmm. Okay. Is that all of them? Yep, looks like it. So we got this pretty silver reflective foil on the side, as you can see reflecting in the light there. Then we got... Uh, I don't actually know the characters, but I think they're based around witch characters. So we got our Jack, a King, hang on, am I, nope, I'm not missing a Queen. It's just tucked under something, tucked under our kitty cat here, hang on. If I can actually get it to separate. There we go. Got it. So we got our queen, our jack, our king. Then we got our hearts. And our jack. Our queen. Our king. These are actually awesome. So we got a jack, queen, and king, clubs, and then we got our diamonds. So jack, queen, and king. So awesome! Very happy to have those. Um, not quite sure when I'll use them yet, but I'm sure I'll definitely use them because I like playing patience or things like that at times. Next thing we've got is, uh, this pouch. Oh, there's still some bath bomb over it. <laughs> um, so we'll remove this first. And our items, and we've got a card right down here that we need to try and get out. Here we go, we got it. So next we've got a set of stainless steel witch straws. And FDA approved stainless steel straws made in China. And this came with a cleaning brush, which I actually don't have one of these, so awesome. Very happy about that. And it also came with uh, two straws, which now I, I've unfocused the whole thing, haven't I? 
Let's just put this back up here again to get it focused. If I can. Or oh, this, we'll try this. There we go. <laughs> so we got two straws here. One says magic. The other says witch. Yep, you can see them now. And obviously they're black with white speckles and white with black speckles. Awesome. Then we next have Witches Be Crazy Fluffy Socks. And we can probably see those from there, but it's basically black and white fluffy socks with the witch's hat on the top of them. Always awesome to have. And next we have a tote bag. I so big that I actually can't show you the full thing in frame but it is actually quite um, large and heavy duty. I love how you've got like the knives, the mushrooms, the skulls. I've never used a Ouija board but I'm guessing they're Ouija board tokens. Um, the moth, the potions, the candles, the crystals, the bones. <laughs> it's actually quite awesome and it's very heavy duty it feels very heavy duty bag which is always really awesome to have something that feels and feels really heavy duty for when you want to know that you have a reliable bag and next we have um, a sticky note pad and from what I know I'm pretty certain uh, you're just as sane as I am so I think this is based around Luna from Harry Potter there we go that's it and it's just a sticky notepad that you use to make notes and stick on things which is awesome and lastly we have our two tarot cards for this month so um, we've got the ace of cups and the high priestess and from what I know this is from the shadow me series I haven't actually read them yet but I own all the books so far um, so it's awesome to have them I really love the artwork they do on these um, tarot cards even though I don't own them all I really really love the artwork from them all and I actually worked out too there actually is about um seems to be fluff coming out of those socks i just noticed a little piece of fluff but from what i noticed with the items in this month's box there's also there's seven items in this month's box as well as there's supposedly seven months in october's box as well i think from what they said on their email and then the last thing we have here is obviously a book and I'm just going to move the box, which is going to have to sit on the ground briefly. And so we got obviously our normal, usual fairy loot bag, which says happy reading and has the fairy loot logo on the other side. And I tend to keep the books in these um, after I take pictures and sort them all. Whoops, I've dented something up a little bit. So we got our uh, just gonna shift that because it's probably gonna get Yuli's hair all over it down there on the floor. Lil's likes to lose a lot of fur. She does. And there's bath bomb all over here now, so let me just dust that off so that I don't get any scratches on the book, hopefully. So we don't want that. 
if I can avoid it. So we've got our usual uh, bookmark, which is um, based around the theme of the month and our spoiler card. We've got our fairy scoop, which is Be Crazy, September 2019. And with our author interview and what's now available in the fairy trove and the read along. Uh, next month's theme, which is Love at First Bite. So it says, we're so excited to reveal the October theme. I'm just going to double check that's focused. Our theme for our monthly box and it is Love at First Bite. This vampire theme box is perfect box for autumn and Halloween. We've never curated a box like this before so we're very excited about all the vampire inspired goodies. Most of the items in this box are fandom neutral, but we will say that you can expect items inspired by Dracula and Interview with a Vampire. This box is jam-packed with ex exciting items, and we are so thrilled to reveal that this box will have an exclusive candle hand poured by At The Melting Library. Requel's candles are iconic within the Bookstagram community, and we're so excited for this collaboration. Our featured book of the month is a romantic and seductive murder mystery set in 19th century New Orleans, where vampires prowl the streets. The edition that we will be including will have artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, sprayed edges, and it will be signed by the author. It's definitely not one to be missed. This box is not available yet. We will open for subscriptions on September the 2nd, which is obviously over, <laughs> and single purchases will be available on the September the 7th at 1pm BST. If you already have a subscription, you can sit back and relax. You will automatically get this box. So I'm thinking when I cut back to one box, I'm going to be sticking with Fairy Loot's box. Now I was thinking Illuminacrate, but now I'm thinking I would like to stick with Fairy Loot, just because they seem to... I don't... It's just something like I was having to compare the items and the boxes and which items were more my style and stuff like that. And so, I, and because fairy loot um, seems to have um, more very exclusive editions, but also the fact that they have a lot of fantasy themed books. And I still love fantasy whilst I'm trying new types of books. I still love my fantasy books and stuff the most. They're the ones that I really, really love. But I, I love other genres as well now, but I love fantasy and so that's why I decided I think I'm going to stick with Fairy Loot when I cut back to one box, just because it's what works for me. And so, um, this is obviously our character card with our author letter and I just I love the way the image is on here with the, the produce and market sort of aspect, outdoor market on it. And we've got our author letter, which I will get it focused there so you can read it and then I will also read it out just in case I know I didn't. Uh, with the Lip Joy one, I think it was, but yeah, I'll do it this time. <laughs> so it says, Dearest Fairy Loot Readers, I started writing Serpent and Dove during a difficult time in my life, and this story allowed me to escape into the great wild, great wide somewhere for a few precious hours each night. I hope it similarly transports you. Within these pages, I hope you find adventure in the dirty streets of Cesarine, romance on the snowy rooftop of Celile et Lune, and danger within the crumbling temple of Chateau Le Blanc. I hope you are inspired by Lou's tenacity, Reed's strength, Coco's loyalty, and Ansel's kindness. I hope they challenge you to see the world not as a stark landscape of black and white, but as an ever-changing sea of grey. They certainly forced me to re-examine my own perceptions. They also helped me to rediscover the spark I'd lost, that essence of self we so often sacrifice to others. I hope you never lose your spark, dear readers, and if you do, I hope these characters can similarly help you find it, even if that means trekking through the haunted pines of La Forêt des Yorks. I think that's what it is. It's French anyway. 
especially if it means singing songs about well-endowed barmaids or battling witches on Modranit or sneaking into Forbidden Infirmary to practice magic. Most of all, however, I hope you're currently curled up by the fire with a delicious pastry because sometimes a good book and a snowy twilight and perhaps a little cinnamon and sweet cream are all the magic we need. Yours in love, pastries and magic, Shelby Moran. Morin or Mora. Morin. And so that brings us to our book, which is Serpent and Dove. I have received a paperback copy of this to review, which I'm so looking forward to reading. I'm just wrapping up a couple of my current review books and then I'm straight away going to Serpent and Dove. I really can't wait. Um, I've just finished Caraval, which is one of my own books as well by Stephanie Garber and oh my gosh that ending like yeah <laughs> um, but yeah I'll be doing a review on that soon so Serpent and Dove it actually came with um, I don't know if you can see that I don't know if I can show you properly just how sparkly it is um, I did notice a little bit of sparkle um, did come off on my fingers before. I'm hoping that's n not going to be a common theme because obviously I don't want all the sparkles falling off it because oh my gosh it is so beautiful. So there you go you can see some of the sparkles there. But yeah I really don't want all the gold to come off it by any means because <laughs> I love it. And what is exclusive obviously we've got our signature page here which it might help if I focused it again signature page um, with obviously the spine here and as I showed our sprayed glittery edges which is oh so beautiful then we have also have an if I can get it open an exclusive dust jacket um, this is reversible but I probably I doubt I'll reverse it because I don't want to damage that inside dust jacket or anything but it is so pretty I really love it it looks like Christmas Eve sort of themed and yeah it's so beautiful and I'm so happy to have that and now I will uh, read our little insert about what the book is about on the back and in the front cover so it says a witch and a witch hunter bound in holy matrimony there is only one way such a story could end a stake and a match <laughs> and then inside here we've got bound as one to love honor or burn Two years ago, Louise LeBlanc fled her coven and took shelter in the city of Cesarine, forsaking all magic and living off whatever she could steal. There, witches like Lou are hunted, they are feared, and they are burned. Sworn to the church as a ch chasseur, Reed Diggory has lived his life by one principle. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. His path was never meant to cross with Lou's. But a wicked stunt forces them into an impossible union, holy matrimony. The war between witches and church is an ancient one, and Lou's most dangerous enemies bring a fate worse than fire. Unable to ignore her growing feelings yet powerless to change what she is, a choice must be made, and love makes fools of us all. So I'm so excited for this book. I can't wait to read my review copy. I'll probably do that and try and keep this one in pristine condition. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy to have this version and so excited to read this book. I really can't wait to wrap up the couple of books that I'm currently reading and get on to Serpent and Dove. Um, well, at least one book. Um, the second, I haven't really started, so yeah, I can probably put it aside for a minute and I can't wait to get to this. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this um, book unboxing. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you and I will see you next time. Bye.